Our generation is one that has gotten accustomed to the word hustle, even though it's not a favorite word of mine. But we work so hard. We work from morning till evening. We have to deal with traffic, deal with buses, for some very annoying buses. <laughs> Others have to just basically try to find a balance. And in the midst of all this, you have to eat. Going to the market is not the favorite job of many. Some people would rather just have the food delivered to them or eat out in a fancy restaurant. I like to eat out. But the truth is, eating out is not always very, very pocket friendly. So if you're trying to cook at home and you're wondering, how do I go through this? How do I get to the market and do all the many hundred things I have to do? We present to you Yaoloja Eko. Yaoloja Eko has found an opportunity in something that many consider stress. And not only is she making money with this, she's building a brand and also projecting that this can be a potential business opportunity for many in the nearest future. Take a look. My name is Oko Erita. I'm also known as Iyaoloja Eko. They call me Iyaoloja Eko because I help busy moms, people that don't like going to the market, people that don't have time to go to the market, run their market errands. When I say run their market errands, I start by going to the markets, buy their goods for them, food stuff, anything they need. I bring it back home, package it, clean it first, package it before delivering it to them. That is why I'm known as Iaoloja Eko. I have a nine to five job running from Monday to Friday, and I also have Iaoloja Eko by the side. So what I do, if I have orders for Iaoloja Eko, which I try as much as I can to do Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I wake up as early as 5 a.m. I'm out of the house, say, 15 minutes after 5. I'm in the market before 6 o'clock. This market is Oibo market or Maltov, depending on what I'm going to buy. So I try as much as I can because I resume at 8.30 a.m. So what I do is, if I'm going to the market, I have someone go with me. Buy the major things in the market and the person helps me take it back home, clean them, package them, and help me with the logistics. My mom has always been a businesswoman. I grew up with her. She was a trader. I remember when we were in primary school, my mom sells, she started with a um, fish roll. And after that, she got a shop in the um, market, the police barracks, where she started selling yam. Maybe Saturdays, I fall out to my 12 markets. See the way, I just, I love markets. I love, I, this is what I love. I fall out to market, my top market, see the way she's doing her pricing and all that. Then when she come, brings it back home to her shop to sell, when I go to school and I'm back, you see me in AJ markets at my mom's shop selling. Then among, my mom has seven children. Among the seven of us, I'm the only different one. Because if they need to buy anything, just send Ndidi, Ndidi will go for you. So it has always been something that I know how to do. It's not like I just started it because I want to do it. No, I know how to price. I know how to go to the market. I know where to go to to get it cheaper than every other person. So why I wake up very early, this is the time that the main market women come to the market. This is when the village people bring it to the market. So if you come in very early, you'll be privileged to meet them. So you're buying directly for th from them. What inspired me? I'm a mom and I'm working, it is not easy for so many women out there. The days of our mother is not the same as now. Where you have, then of our mothers, so many of them were not working. They have time to attend to their kids, they can easily go to the market. But now, we have traffic, we have our mom, like me, I have a nine to five job. I wake up very early to leave for work just because of the Lagos traffic. And then coming back again, Lagos traffic, I still have to cook. And my husband is this kind of person that he wants you to cook it fresh, even if you have it in the fridge. I just, I have to put other women in my shoe, think of what to do. What, okay, how do you solve this problem? What I do for myself is, I wake up that very early in the morning, go to Oibo market before coming to work. I have bought my things. Then when I close, I'm going back home, rushing back home. I try as much as I can because I have them already at hand. Start preparing it. Wash if it's ugo. Wash, make, make it dry. You know because I already have it at hand that early morning, so it's very easy for me to go back to cook. But there are some women that they can't because of where they live and their, the kind of job they don't even have time for themselves. 
or their family left to talk of going to the market. So that is why I started Eology Echo. The challenges with being Eology Echo, waking up pretty early, getting to the market, because you don't just buy at one place. You just get there and they tell you, oh, this thing is 100 Naira. You don't just pay 100 Naira and then walk away to the next one, no. The area where you have to bargain, you have to walk to like three different people to find out and get a good bargain before you buy. Then the means of logistics is also a serious problem for me. And because I have to also come back to do my nine to five job. I won't say because it's raining, then my clients will not have food in their house. No, that is why I'm here on Logico. That is why I am here to help them take the stress of them. So many, like during the rainy season, so many, almost every day I was going to the markets because then I've not really built a structure of Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So I was still trying to build a Yaoloja Eco. So rain under the rain, under the sun, I'm in, in the markets trying to meet my clients' needs and make sure they get everything that they want. Yes, there's a future in foodstuff business there is really a future in it and i'm hoping to grow this business to the place where my children come to take over from it okay analysis of my clients most of them are women what when i say women i don't just mean just working class women i have both male and female but more of the working female don't just see it as a woman thing no don't see it as this is the role of my wife yes she has to check the kitchen cabinet to be sure everything is complete no in some of my videos on on my page you'll see where my husband follows me to the market this is where i have so much to do like where i have to go to um, mile 12 at the same time i have to do oibo market he follows me most times when i have so much to do and i have like i need to be in the office I must, after 8.30, I'll get um, a query or all that. I give him my market list to help me. He knows where I shop from. He knows who my, who my customers are in the market. And he knows how much I buy it. Even though sometimes I tell him when you get there, bargain lesser. You are bargain lesser. So don't look at it as a woman to know. You can help you. You can even surprise her. You can just send the list. Just look for something that you love to eat yourself and then send it to Yaoloja Eko to help you shop for it. Let Yaoloja Eko deliver it to your house. Let your wife receive it or maybe your maid or somebody at home receive it. And then when she comes back to see it, oh my God, she will be really, really happy and she will love you more. So don't just look at it like, no, this is the woman. No, it is not just for women. It is both for male and for women. Surprise your wife by shopping for her. How I'm able to find balance? It has not been easy. I remember when I just started, there were times I had quarrel with my husband. There were times I lost clients because my husband at a point told me, drop your phone. It really pained me. I cried. I won't lie to you. It was really painful. But I have to also think that, oh, I have a family. If I'm always about money, 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 then I'll be losing my family on the other side. So we now came to agreement, we talked about it. That was where he said, okay, if you need to do some things, let me know what you want to do. I would help you with it. Following, him, following me to the market is not to show off that my husband is, no. He helps me, if I have so much, he helps me go that. And for the kids at home, my husband helps me take them to school. Because now we've, yes, we've balanced it in a way that, okay, it takes them to school, breaks them, take them to school and bring them back. But me, the mommy in the house, mommy has to be sure that their plate is ready, their lunchbox is ready, their food is, is ready, that's what they're taking to school today. If it's this thing they're taking, if it's them rice and stew they're taking to school, mommy has to be sure that that is ready for them to go to school. So that's the balance I have with her. To enjoy more of these our Ubonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.